The story of pre-ancient Greece as a story of human civilization begins around the 7th millennium BC in the Neolithic period of human development. By this time, farming had spread from its place of origin, the cities of Damascus and Jericho in the Levant, to Anatolia. From Anatolia, it made its way to the Balkans and so arose the first permanent settlement in the region. Historians tend to divide the Neolithic period of Greece into six stages. The first, generally called the Pre-Pottery Period, lasted until roughly halfway through the 7th millennium BC. During this time, a few major settlements came into existence in the regions later known as Thessaly, Argolis, and Crete. The second period, the Early Neolithic Period, lasted until some time into the 6th millennium BC. This was when the inhabitants of the Balkans first began making ceramic pottery. The major settlements in Greece during this time included Nia Nicomedia, Sisklo, Athens, Gnosis, and the French The Cave. It should be noted that the location of the cave had been occupied for potentially tens or thousands of years before this point, but it wasn't until this period that the inhabitants developed farming and thus were able to create a major settlement. The third period, the Middle Neolithic, constituted the bulk of the 6th millennium BC. The Nia Nicomedia settlement collapsed and was abandoned around the beginning of this period, due most likely to either natural disasters or hostile tribes nearby. Sisklo established itself as the dominant culture and began constructing buildings with foundations made of stone instead of timber for the first time. Very few changes to the economic and social systems of the pre-ancient Greeks occurred during this time. However, the discovery of luxury items such as painted pottery in the citadel of Sisklo and not the rest of the city could be construed as the first sign of a society that was moving toward a more class-based social arrangement. The 4th and 5th periods, collectively known in this video as the Late Neolithic, took place from the end of the 6th millennium BC to roughly the middle of the 5th millennium BC. Siskel reached the peak of its influence at the beginning of this period, only to mysteriously collapse at around the turn of the 5th millennium. In its place, the Domini culture arose. There are several theories regarding why Siskel collapsed. It has long been assumed that the Domini were foreign invaders who took the city by force. However, evidence recently has suggested that Sisklo and the Domini coexisted peacefully for centuries beforehand, before unknown circumstances caused Sisklo to be abandoned, after which the Domini became dominant in the region. Settlement defensive measures were first employed during this period, beginning with the digging of trenches around the boundaries of settlements and developing into primitive stone walls up to 2 meters high. Farming also became innovative and intensive, featuring the purposeful clearing of forests and shrubs to create farmland and the cultivation of new kinds of crops. Major settlements also began trading extensively with one another during this time. The final stage of the Neolithic period of Greece is appropriately called the Final Neolithic. This lasted until the end of the 4th millennium BC. The stage was characterized by increased human activity on the coasts of Greece and around the Mediterranean. Metalworking, particularly that involving gold and silver, also became prevalent. The French The Cave Settlement was abandoned around this time, marking the end of tens of thousands of years of almost continuous human presence.